Well, it was prime day for the start of the Pac-12 football schedule in the Willamette Valley. Fox 12's Nick Krupke was at Autzen Stadium for the top 20 showdown between a pair of unbeatens with the 10th ranked Ducks and number 19 Colorado, led by the Buffalo's first year head coach, Deion Sanders. Where does this play in the documentary? Keep the receipts, speed still hunts in front of the sixth largest crowd at Autzen Stadium history, where the Ducks flash on a prime day to show Deion's buffs. They're not quite ready for prime time in the Pac-12. That was good. I mean, that was a really good old-fashioned buck kicking. Ain't hard to find. Deion Sanders now has visions behind his shades of the duck stampede in thunder green and lightning yellow after his first trip to the Willamette Valley. People around the country would say, this is what they needed to humble themselves. We wasn't arrogant or whatever. We just, we're confident people. If our confidence offends your insecurity, that's the problem with you, it's not us. Class is back in session on campus in Eugene, and Coach Prime got a quick tutorial of Autzen 101 with a theme song of Mighty Oregon. We play that hot garbage. That surprised me. I didn't expect that. Want to get personal? How about a 42 to 6 final tally? I don't say stuff just to say it for a thing, you know, contrary to what some may say. But, uh, yeah, I, get, I keep it seats. Uh, you better get me right now. This is the worst we're going to be. You better get me right now. They're fighting for clicks. We're fighting for wins. Dan Lanning said as such in his pregame motivational speech to the men of Oregon. They more than covered his three touchdown favorites. Notching more points, 35, and first downs, 22, than first half yards for Colorado with a measly 21 on 24 plays. You know, I get a little passionate at times, right? I get a little excited about what I want to accomplish for, for our team, and I just want to say, you know, I need to humble myself a little bit. This is one game, right? And I'm not satisfied. In a battle of Heisman hopeful quarterbacks, it was the Ducks' Bo Nix who was bodacious with spacious room to work. 28 of 33 passing with four total scores and a clean pocket for most of the day, which for Knicks was done before the 59,889 shouted to the fourth quarter, while Shador Sanders was mostly on his back for the buffs. Dion Sun sacked seven times, the most for the Ducks in seven years. Outgaming the boys from Boulder, 522 to 199. I mean, it's not eye-opening because, I mean, it's, it's the game of football. If you don't execute, then you're going to lose. If, the other team execute, then they're going to win. These two could meet again before departing for the Big Ten and the Big 12. But only if it's Oregon and Colorado going one and two in the conference to meet in Las Vegas for that Pac-12 title game. We knew the moment was going to be, um, you know, really big. We knew the occasion was going to be really big. But, you know, we just wanted to go out there and play, you know, ourselves. The 4-0 Ducks now have their last trip down to the farm of Stanford as conference opponents on Saturday for that big one in Seattle against the Huskies and more reality for Colorado. They now welcome number five, USC. In Eugene Dotson Stadium, Nick Krupke, Fox of Oregon.